Welcome everyone. I'd like to show you how to use code generation in this presentation uh, for converting a Simulink model in ROS to be able to run with Catkin and run without Simulink in the loop. So we're going to generate code from an existing Simulink model and have it run without needing to have Simulink open. So let me show you how to do this. Uh, this is a continuation of the example that we just ran with TurtleSim. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, you might want to watch it to see the kinds of things we had to do in order to make this model work. But what we're going to need to do next is to create a Catkin workspace that we can use. So in my temp directory here, I have a Simulink directory. Uh, let's make a new directory, uh, code gen workspace, and cd into my code gen workspace, make dir source, cd into source, and Catkin init workspace. And now here, Catkin make. Golden, we got it all taken care of there. Uh, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make some changes inside my spiral MATLAB Simulink block. So in order to do this, I need to come to my model configuration parameters, so simulation and then model configuration parameters. It seems kind of weird, but what we're changing in here is my hardware implementation. So my hardware implementation needs to be ROS. Now by doing this, a bunch of other kinds of things change. And some other stuff you may want to do is change your maintainer name here to Indigo Toya uh, That's probably not desired. That might actually be somebody's email, so I won't mess that up. Okay, so here's some information that we can fill out. You'll want to fill out your own information for any of this stuff. Uh, you can see here that we now have the Catkin toolchain defaulted automatically for code generation. So if I press apply here and press OK, let's look in MATLAB's Simulink directory to note that what we have right now is spiral.slx. If I come next to simulation, now over here to code, C, C++, code, build model, we're going to generate some more things in that directory. So instead of just having spiral.slx and the spiral.slx autosave file, now as we're building the output code, what we're going to see is that some of the things that get produced are going to produce um, an output for this spiral. And that output is this new spiral.tgz. So how did it know to call it spiral.tgz? Well, it called it spiral because my model name was spiral. And it generated also this shell script file, buildrossmodel.sh. This is how we're going to run this to generate code inside my new Catkin workspace. So here inside uh, this workspace, I need to run simulink build ROS model simulink spiral.tgz. And I want to generate the code into this workspace where I am now. So this is going to copy and export all of those files that were in uh, spiral.tgz and it puts them here into the source directory in a new package called spiral. So now I've built all of that. I'm going to source develop setup.bash and let's pull up my turtle sim again. So I'm going to close that and open it back up. Note that I do have ROS core running over here in another tab. So now my turtle is brand new and I'm going to ROS run spiral, spiral node. And now my turtle's taking off and doing amazing things. So interesting things about the um, MATLAB version versus the, the Simulink version and any other generated code versions have to do with the frequency at which they run, at well as well as uh, you know the output code that that might be involved. So we still get you know some of the strange behavior here that's built into the model. Um, but uh, one interesting thing about this is that I can close Simulink and close MATLAB, and with each of these things closed, I can now run the code that I produced outside of the MATLAB environment. So generating my code allows me to pass code along to someone else without them having to have um, the ROS uh, robotic system toolkit in MATLAB. The generated code doesn't require that in order to run, uh, which is a really nice feature. 
So hopefully this was useful for you. Uh, it might help you in being able to have some of your code run faster without having to have Simulink or MATLAB open later. Good luck, everyone.